Hello and welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty, Commander difficulty. We're just trying to barely survive. Three UFOs have attacked us, three UFOs have been shot down and three UFOs should be scavenged. That is um, how it should be. We could just collect a bounty of 150 grand, but no, 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 no. I want the XP. I want uh, the extra alien parts that we can sell later. And maybe we can capture one or two aliens alive. So, Skyhawk it is. Has enough fuel. We have our typical two shields, two riflemen, one grandier, two heavies, two sniper kind of setup. One last double check. Is everybody in warden armor? Or guardian armor, of course. Which, by the way, we're going to build soon. The guardian armor. Good. Everybody is ready. And we're giving it a solid go, go, go. Very good. We're super close uh, to day 90, which would be our next influx of cash. And we can use some more cash. I have a lot of development. I already know what we're going to do with it. All right, let's jump into the battle. All right, we landed. Time to get all of the nasty aliens down. Very similar to our mission in the jungle, we got this massive set of trees that is blocking our way. Natalia moves in, finds nothing. All right, interesting. This is a train yard mission <laughs> with a lot of trains. Shattered Realm. And on the other side, Epithelius. I think we need more cover destruction here at the lumber mill. Alright, so I can see a lot of armed... No, it's actually the first one. What am I saying? I, th I th thought I saw a lot of armed civilians, but I didn't. Jim, what's up? So he moves up. And let's do a couple of positions for our sniper. This is not a bad one. We have a lot of aiming angles. This is not a bad one either, as we do have good aiming angles. All right, cool. Team moved in. Round number one successfully managed. <coughs> we don't even know what aliens were fighting against yet. 46 could be any weapon. Well, that's a plasma one. Thank you. 
Insectoids, the bane of our existence. <clears throat> okay. Well, she will still be a nice little mimic beacon. So does he. down and more cover down okay moving up Triplet, hit, hit, triplet, killed him, very nice. Epi moves up closer. We got a nice little sniper angle over here. Good, we know another shot came from right up there. And we found the culprit. Seventy. Hmm. We're taking one shot. Okay, and that one was a good one. Another salvo. Unfortunately, unsuccessful. Diddy moves up, tree line in the way. Let's suppress him. <coughs> there we go. Flashbang suppressed, can't do much. Alright, end of turn. We've still only found one sector. I'm pretty much aware there's a second one behind here. Good. Perfect reaction shot there. Our civilian is still safe and sound, which is good. All right, remove cover. Didn't work out as planned. Let's try this again. Remove cover. Pfft. Ridiculous. Heavy moves up. Shit around. 
moves up to here. Sniper moves up and I think we're okay. <clears throat> End of turn. Yeah, not a surprise. He is sectored right there. Our last mimic beacon is still running. Still well and alive. So as long as she's uh, there, we are fine. 13.4. Moving up. Anchor ring down. Remove cover. Worked like a charm. Uh, of course, that did not work like a charm. Straight up 100% hit. I like it. And Eulet heals Uncle Nuber, who I think is one of the most shot and injured uh, soldiers that we have in our entire roster. For some reason, the Grenadiers always pick the short end of the stick. I don't know what it is, but they are not very liked. Triplet or full auto. They can mesmerize the full auto it is. Wow, I shot so hard that the train disappeared. I mean, look guys, destructible terrain, like it, not a problem. Shooting an entire train away? Maybe a bit much, maybe a bit much. Just saying, out of all of the things that you can uh, shoot away an entire train, seems deliberately excessive. When our sniper is slightly forward. These guys had given each other aim bonuses. I don't like it when Shattered Realm is getting injured. This is kind of against the rules of how we're playing here. No? No? Good. This guy is fallen unconscious. Did we really just get an in? We got an injury for that bit of a little hit. I can't believe you're serious with that. All right, one shot. I don't know if the G hit.
Je vais plot. Je vais plot. New. Sniper shot, 0%. But I think we could improve. And this is in range, 12%. Not great. Fifty-eight percent. Jim moves up. Triplet. <laughs> Takes another hit. Crazy. That is way too far <coughs> for a proper weapon. Unless you do have a sniper, you can't hit on this distance. But we're covering one flank. And I think that's pretty much what we can do. This guy has taken a lot of beating. He has also done auto shots, so. Uh oh. Why did you panic now? Wow, Natalia said one hit point. Okay, I can understand why you would panic. First of all, let's take care of the bleeding. There you go. Much better. Secondly. Not a hit again. We're now under their control. Well, wonderful. Pauly moves up. Another 25 stun. And Shatter Realm finally gets him down. Still bleeding a bit, <clears throat> so let's heal. What an absolute garbage turn. We almost lost someone down to one hit point. Wow. I would say thank God for armor. This Natalia definitely received a lot of beating here.
So we're going to reload. Can't use the weapon, right? No. Cannot use that one either. Well, we do have a flashbang. That's still good. And we be are going to begin to move forward. Reloading, and we are actually charging up. Reload for Shattered Realm. Reload for more grenades. Good. And what else can we do? Sniper moves up. Tony has decent aiming angles. Could actually move up all the way to here. And the G reloads. And begins to move in the right direction. Good. Very much a transitory turn. Don't move into the ship. Just stay out here, civilian. Seriously. Happy and Shattered Realm are uh, moving up. Zoe is over here. Uncle Uber is there. And Jim is uh, there. Mover takes the pistol. And Dilly takes the other side. So that we do have decent aiming angles. Fully reloaded weapon. At least most of them. I told you not to run into the UFO. I quite literally said, do not run into the UFO. But no. You thought it was a smart idea. You are stupid. Take out the pistol.
deeper. Okay, can we? No, that's too far. Need the assaults in the front. The heavies just need a little bit more time. Uncle Nuber is here. Most of the snipers are fine. I think we're okay for now. Okay, let's get the rest of the UFO done. up, opens the door. Spots an enemy. Um, hmm. Listen, I think the best course of action is to simply stun you. Triple hit. Might not be a stun stun, but it most certainly de uh, did the trick. Widowmaker opens. Carefully moving in, and putting a lot of emphasis on security here. Diddy G puts out his pistol. He's not someone who can just stand by idle when his comrades are in danger. So the G and Tony are both um, entering. Hearing the floating brain, which is above us, so not to worry right now. It very seldomly leaves the UFO. Never mind, uh, I think it frequently leaves the UFO under the right conditions. And I think we also would want to flashbang. Of course, suppressing ourselves. Nice little shot here. It's a mistake. Uh, miss my, uh, is what I meant to say. And there is the stun. There is the moving to the side. And there is the hit. And the kill. You. Not yet, okay.
That was painfully idiotic. Heals up. Can we get out of the smoke? No, we cannot for yet for now. Okay, well, we've seen better performances, but we've seen worse as well. So that was okay, not great, but okay. Moves to here. Look, we need to reload anyways. Next turn, we're going to go up. All right, here we go. Flashbang in your stupid face and a shot okay a partial stun i like what i'm seeing epi moves up takes a shot guys not down takes another shot and we're done okay well we took some damage and there were hilarious mishaps just like blowing up a fusion core near one of our characters. But other than those little oopsies, as I would call them, we were doing quite well. After action report. Dilly G finally got his 100 accuracy, apparently. And wow, Natalia, one hit point. Well, lucky you. That was the closest call that we had in the entire playthrough so far. But on the upside, the attack of the three UFOs has finally come to an end. Uh, and I'm desperately awaiting day 90. Should get our funding now. Laser ammo recharge is done. Yeah, that's good. Good. All of the regions give us a lot of money. Unfortunately, our expenses <clears throat> are also quite substantial. Anyways, we got two mil which is great, that's what we needed. Now, shortly back to, I think, laser weapons. I want to double check if all of the laser weapons have improved or if we now need to go weapon by weapon to improve them. <coughs> all of them have improved, look at that. <coughs> At once, precision laser went up and that'll be super useful because they will get one extra shot per turn 
and you can only shoot once with a precision laser so <clears throat> it will automatically fill itself up guardian armor start production and we have two and we need seven so that's the first thing then we had alloy platings put that in the queue buy the bullet now because it is expensive wow this thing here costs 200 250 grand as well on top What does this do? Upgrade armor plating on our vehicles. Okay, steel plating that our soldiers can wear in their tactical vests. Hmm. That is good. Is it worth 500 grand? I don't know. I thought we would get um, the, the interceptors on top. I tell you what, let's try that. Good. In terms of research, still interrogating the Reaper. Alenian explosives aren't bad either, but we will do the interrogations first. Good. Other than that, I already mentioned we need to build a couple of uh, things. So we had a radar array. Wanted to build three in a row here. And we had laser batteries to, to defend ourselves. Which already eats up most of our funds. And then we wanted more living capacity for more soldiers. Yes, sir. And we wanted a laboratory, another one. That'll be 250. Okay, we need to sell a bunch of items. Shouldn't be the biggest problem. Those are currently cheap. Now we don't need to sell any here. Captured uh, Psyons go for 20k a pop. Wow. Well, it's pretty damn good. What can two Psyons uh, do if we are selling them, right? Right, guys? Nothing. Alien plasma weapons. I, I get the feeling that we can't use uh, them. So I'll just sell a bunch. Might be a huge mistake, but I think I'm good. I need the money now, and I need a little bit more. Good. That's almost a million. Can't really turn that one down. On to another quantum laboratory, which will give us in 30 days another boost of uh, researchers. For now, it's fine. We also finally got the... No, we don't have it yet. The living capacity is almost finished up. How much is our defense strength? 180. Shall we get a last laser battery? I think so. Just making sure that every single UFO will die. 
if it comes close to us. Well, maybe we can upgrade the laser batteries later. It's a lot of uh, money here. I'll save it for now. I rather would want to build something. Uh, we got living capacity is fine. Good. So let's continue. Asia has gone down with its panic. North and South America has gone up though. Placeholder and milestone. I, I feel we're pretty far advanced in the game. I did, did not put that one in here. Interrogation. I think we're going to take the wrath next. Back to the Geoscape, just doing all of the interrogations. Maybe I'll skip the Mantid for now, because they do have really sub subpar stats. Good, let's assign another research. In other words, they are not as important to be interrogated. Alien explosives, however, sound nice, and the Dragonfly dropship is still absolutely juicy. It looks good. Alien Origins could be something else as well. 240 grand per month. Let's do the alien explosives or alien e electronics may unlock a variety of technological improvements. Hmm. All right, let's try electronics. A variety of uh, improvements. That's what I like to hear. Soon we will be able to scan in Asia Pacific as well. We got our Angel 2 fully repaired. That's great. And look at that. Guardian Armor is done. It's a bit of a quieter episode. I don't mind that at all because we're getting a lot of research done which is great oh we got an abduction there guys in the polar region minus 10 panic level global that would be absolutely gorgeous if we could do it How long is our research almost done? Alloy plating are almost done as well. All right, we'll end the episode here, guys, and we are going to join with the abduction next time. Thank you for watching and have a great day. If you enjoy Xenonauts 2, leave a comment and a like down below and see you soon. Bye bye.